What's going on guys, Copert here. Welcome back to my Let's Play RimWorld Tribal playthrough. Uh, we're just kind of waking up from the next morning. I, I left you guys. Oh, I think he... I said this guy to go kill this turkey. Uh, let's... Bring that back. And you leave your meal. Alright, so eat your meal. No! I thought the dog was going to take it. All the turkey back. Thank you. I was going to let him kill it as I was introing it. I thought it would make a little, good little visual. So here we are. What is this? Like day three? Something like that. We're okay. We're expanding the house a little bit. I'm actually a little nervous about that now, but there's only way to, one way to find out. I might even leave the interior wall and just open the doors, maybe? I don't know. I don't really need the space so much now. I, I, I won't. I at least won't change it until I need the space, I guess. We've got some beds. So we just got to get the temperature down here, which we'll just open the door. That will vent it out, and then at least they get sleep in the sleep in the beds, and they won't have to sleep on the ground. That'll improve their moods quite a bit. We got another turkey up here, so luckily we've got a lot of plentiful food up here. I, I love how the the deer and the elk and stuff stay in packs. It's awesome. I don't want to take more than I need though, so I'm kind of trying to be a little smart about it. Cause we've got a lot of berries. All right, so the fire burnt out. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't know that that did that. Temperature. Oh, I can do a passive cooler right away, can I? Do that guy right there. What's up with the passive cooler? <sighs> okay, so we can make a little bit of a cooler. So maybe, maybe should we do... Let's try this right here. I, I just want to play with this before I actually need it. Put that there. We'll put a wall here. We'll put food in here. We'll just, we'll just see what it... What happens. Because I, I don't know. Um... Let's save those here. This isn't big enough by any means, but again, this is just to kind of play around with it. Wait, what? Is that it? That's all that does? No. It's gonna cool the whole room, right? I don't know. Mad animal. Alright, this normally isn't a big deer. A local hare. Okay, so let's hunt this sucker. Everybody's up. I'm very, very worried about getting any kind of herded. Any kind of Injuries, because I don't really have anything to deal with it with. I'd love to get rid of these boom rats. I might micromanage my ranged guys to take care of them. Where's that? There it is. Okay, well, how about somebody hits it? Okay, very good. We're an awesome, awesome military beast. Alright, I do kind of want to... Oh, Joyce, why are you... I don't understand. Why are you hunting? I have... Lots of things queued up for you to hunt. I don't quite understand what your problem is. We'll do that to four. All right, so what I do want you to do, though, Joettes, why don't you come out here? This is this is going to be a disaster. I just, I feel it. I can just feel it. Now, he's going to aggro me, right? It's so funny, like, how much of the little details I don't pay attention when I'm playing a normal playthrough. Yep, he is, so just... How bad did that kill him? Alright, so you, sh you should be able to... Jouettes, you should be able to kill him before he gets to you. Come on. Oh, he's not even coming for you. It's interesting. He's hiding behind the bush. Is that is that right? Do I have this right? That's what I wanted to do. Um, that's interesting, though. Let's put that out, shall we? We don't want a big forest fire. I'd really like those berries to stay around. That'd be cool. Thank you. Everybody else help? No? No? Nobody wants to come help put the fire out before it gets too big? <laughs> come on. Alright, so we've got a boomer. Is that just a boomer I give me? Guys! <laughs> I understand you're hungry? Really? Wait, what? I don't. Oh, is, is the, the home area not. Yeah, it's out of the home area. Come on, guys. Get the. Stop, don't let the berries burn! Please. Just some grass is burning up, it looks like. Not a big deal. Need defenses. Is that the game's way of telling me? Alright, I don't want this to go out of the home zone again. <clears throat> Should be okay. Man, fire is going to be... I almost want to, like, 
cut out a fire zone. Because I feel like that's going to be a, a concerning problem. Right, we'll do another three here. We'll do this of potato. No, wait. Uh... Yeah, that was potato. We'll do corn. I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna do a double of rice. I just. I don't know. I don't think the rice is the way to go. We'll make this. That's the big, big plot of corn. We'll see what this, what this feels like. We're in here, 53 degrees, 2 degrees. All right, it's supposed to make it colder, but it's not, not really. It's exact same temperature. What am I doing wrong here, folks? Does it just take a long time? All right, let's see what happens. Let's see if it just... Is this supposed to go into the wall? I don't think it is, right? No, it can't even be built into the wall. Okay. Why are you guys... I don't quite get why you're... How about you sleep in all the nice beds I made you? I don't know. It's just an idea. Just an idea. So the fires actually burn out, which is interesting. I thought it was going to just, you're making a fireplace set, and then they'll just continue to relight it. But they don't, that's not the case. This is reinstall. Yeah, I'll put it at the foot of so-and-so's bed. So I think we're okay. We're 50 degrees. It's still a little, wow, it's actually cold outside. This will keep it real. See, that, see what happens? This is 33 degrees now. And this has already dropped down to 50, 60. With the door open. So I think I'm going to keep it like this for now. I know it's a funky layout, but as I need to figure it out, I will figure it out. But for now, I'm going to keep it reduced. That's not a wood floor. That's not. Always forget to do this. Put it under the doors. We're getting down to 44. Uh, so so is the room. So this room's warm. Okay. Interesting. Maybe it'll help the food. I didn't even tell it to put food here, did I? Alright, so we got spoiling on one day. Oh, that's right. I gotta make... This is this is kind of annoying, so we're gonna have to do a regular cook stove or something. Um, Again, I, I, I think... Man, I, I have to do this every time. The meals definitely doesn't... I will go up to 15. I want enough, basically, for one day. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, I can burn a parrot on a fire. That's actually really cool now. Do forever. Uh, I'm debating if I should have to do the pemmican ahead of the simple meal. And I just make simple meals out of whatever I have excess of. It won't be a problem once the crops come in. Man, blights are going to hurt in the sun, aren't they? I'll have to be uh, watching out for those. All right, let's run it out. Uh, what options do I have? Why are they still not making this? Steel. Okay, so we need some steel. Why didn't you tell me we needed steel? I'm only going to mine what we actually need, though. Alright. So that'll give us a little bit of steel. I think I needed 75. Make up some meals, please. Yeah, I would like to have, like, five people eat three times. It's 15. I think that's what it was. I think that's what it was. I don't remember exactly what it was to... Use up in a day. So the rice, rice is growing really well, actually. So maybe that's why this is growing pretty good. Um, I should put some medicine in too, shouldn't I? Is there another little area I can put it in up there, maybe? But I wonder if just popping out up here would be better. Nah, we'll keep, we'll keep it all in one. I don't know if there's any way it just doesn't get killed by blight, though. I should, probably should have let off with this little farm set up, a little cabin, dogs eating the raw food. I mean, I guess I can make some kibble, but uh, no, it's on the butcher table, isn't it? What does it take to make kibble? Requires one nutrient, one nutrient, nutrition, nutrition. So just so it takes plants and so it takes as much as pemmican. That's kind of weird. Um, 
but I guess we can set this for this, right? We'll, we'll set that up. We'll do this. Do until I have. We'll do like five. I don't know. We'll, we'll just see how that works out. Wanderer joins. Ah, more mouth to feed, huh? All right, let's see. Hakuja. Psychically dull, neurotic, steadfast. You can't do dumb labor. You can't do social or... My, you can't do... Well, you're a pretty darn good doctor, but I think I have a good doctor. Don't I have... Isn't Alchemist... Alchemist is better. So, Hakuja. Buddy. Uh, you're a pretty good grower, I guess. But I kind of... I don't like getting all these limiting people. So, Hakuja. I was just going to go to my spiel about how I will name him after somebody from this series' comments. But I don't know if he'll... Because obviously you guys are going to be behind me. <laughs> I don't know if he'll make it that long. <laughs> He's going to be kind of the guy I throw into the fire, if you will. Is this getting any cooler? 59. It's a little cooler. All right, so do I need multiples of these? Eighty-three, fifty-six. So it's a lot warmer in here. Why are you sleeping right now? I'm trying to keep this on. Just I want to. I want to keep them as happy as I can. I don't need people bugging out. Whoa, whoa! Where did that come from? Oh, he had that. Really? All right. Oh, by the way, yes, I named this little thing the community. See with the K. See, get it? The branding. <laughs> Uh, and we called it Fort Derp, because we're going to go with, like, the wooden palisade, whereas last season was Helm's Derp. We're going to go with Fort Derp. Again, keeping a common thread, at least, but we're going to go with a different thing here. Uh, interesting. Interesting that he had a gun. I, I think I, I kind of, uh, I don't know. Like, is that damage nine, three seconds range? I mean, I think that's going to be, is that better on Chouettes? It kind of is, right? Kuja, what's what are you? We've got a little bit of shooting. What do we got shooting wise? The dub is like a six. You guys are getting a lot of food poisoning from berries. Is the pila or a bow? Can you hunt? You're good melee. I feel like I'd at least rather have you on a bow than a pila. I really do. What happened here? We already do we harvest some? That'd be great. All right, let's see. We all right. We got this up. Nice. So research, research. Pemmican, drug production, devil strand, brewing, clothing. I think clothing is gonna be a big one. I don't see a huge need for a stone. We're gonna get right into clothing. Smithing would be actually smithing might be more important. Clothing, stone, uh, stone cutting. I do want. I just don't know if I need a rush on that yet. Stoning, stone, be more like anti-fire stuff. We're not gonna rely on stone. We don't, we, we don't have much. What other use? Like, am I missing uses of stone cutting? I probably am. Kuja, oh, I need another bed for you, don't I? Yeah, what I'm gonna start doing then? I'll start putting some beds. Put a couple extra that way, which actually that makes no sense. We'll put them over here. What was that? Warm clothes. Yeah, because he's sleeping outside. Uh, I always forget where this is. Sleep spot. It's, still, it's getting kind of cold out here in spring. Still getting a little cold. It's okay. It's toasty warm in here. Actually, not too crazy. 60s. But should be comfortable for them. Why isn't he in here? Dog. Dog, why aren't you in there? I don't know. I don't understand why he does that. Let's make a couple of them. See if he actually... People sleep in it. So that's three. We had three original pets. I'm, I'm just wondering if that might be why. Raccoon meat has rotted away. Alright, that's no good. Got 11 meals. How's your pemmican? 136 pemmican. 
Yeah, the pemmican stays so long. That's awesome. The meat, I definitely want to... I want to use... Like, the, the plants I'm getting will last a long time. So we've got some kibble. Okay, good. I don't know how long that will last. But we're going to steal a little kibble, a kibble off the top, obviously. Every time we're kind of killing animals. I'm not going to hunt right now because I feel like we've got a, got a decent handle on food. Uh, again, I keep, I keep going to look at a fueled stove. <clears throat> I mean, we're not going to have... Put it over here. I don't think so. That's probably not a good idea. I wonder what's in here. Steel? Really? No. Let's storage this. Preferred. I mean, is this any cooler? It should. It's going to be cooler than this room for sure. We're going to probably move the doors. Make this room a little bigger. But then the cooler isn't going to work as much. I'm not sure. Foods. Medicine doesn't matter. We'll just move the foods in here. Uh, structure. Wall. I gotta take it out first. Okay. Yeah, what we'll do is we'll put put that there. Put a wooden door there. Put a wall there and there. Now we'll put a door here. And then we'll take this out. We'll make this room kind of the cooler. Delete zone here. Then we'll do. There. And then we'll do a passive cooler. Passive coolers take what? 50 wood, right? We should have plenty of wood. We're going to put three in there and see how that does. Now we could have a little. Then we'll get the food out of here. I mean, we'll just make this normal. The food can overflow there. I'd rather have it there than outside. And then we'll put the kitchen up over here, which we're going to start burning through some food, I think. I mean, is the fireplace that slow? Because I don't care. All right. And yeah, we'll put a door. It's such a weird building, but I kind of like it in a weird way. All right, let's see. Raid action. All right, we should have enough time to do this on this episode. Awesome. I hate doing cliffhangers on you guys. Sesto, boss. What's he got? He's got melee. He's not very good. Don't want to even save him. So, okay, we're going to pretty much kill this guy. Going to merc him. He's attacking right away, it looks like. What's up here? Okay, so let's get all my peeps together. Let's get a little defensive position going. I'm not sure where. Best spot, maybe over here. Um, maybe not, actually. Let's think about this. Let's, let's do there. And my melee dudes can be inside. Hanging out. Is that my range guys can fall back if need be. And I can have my melee guys come out the door behind him and attack him. I don't know. Uh, by the way, what is this doing? Oh, I did train him. Rescue Hall. No, let's train him up to Hall. That'd be awesome. That would help out. Even though I do have the added. Where is he going? What's he attacking? Does it say? Uh, sandstone Club attacking a wooden wall. Let's go, boys. All right, let's fall back. Dogs are after him. Um, not sure what just happened there. Oh, okay. Just leave. The oh, the door has been held open. I'm like, why did he just walk in there? Okay. 
Um, now the big decision. I don't think we need to resort to cannibalism. Not right now. You gentlemen can go on your way. Alchemist, are you a psychopath? No. Alistar, no. So, Jouettes, you crazy bastard. Strip him. I didn't even know he had anything. What is that? Oh, those are sparks to fix it, I guess? Radirez. Okay, Radirez got hurt. So we're going to make this medical. How bad are you hurt, my friend? Just a bruise. You're fine. Is he still alive? Uh, Dub, I think you're a psychopath too, aren't you? Yes, you are. Melee him to death. Then let's clean that up. And where are we going to put this body? We'll put him out here. A little, little dump zone action. Right here on the stones. Allow rotten corpses. Clear all corpses. Human like will allow rotten. Go. Nope, 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 nope. Don't want you over here. Don't want them there. Don't want any corpses, just chunks. Nope, don't want you here. God dang. Uh, animal corpses, mechanized, that's fine. Don't want you there. There you go. All right, excellent. So on that note, we're going to wrap it up here. We're a little earlier than we were last time. Cargo pods, let's check that out, see what it is before we go. Another boom rat. I don't like boom rats. The survey says, wart, huh? I don't think it's very far away. We'll bring that back because I can make some beer. That might help me through the winter, especially. But that's going to wrap it up for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. Again, all feedback, suggestions, gripes, disgruntled commentaries down below. I always look at them every episode and continue to do so. Um, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a great day. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.